Welcome to this tutorial by Gruber & Company, CPAs in Century City, on how to use an accountant's copy with QuickBooks 2008. This is the second of two-part series of using an accountant's copy with QuickBooks 2008. In the first part, we showed you how to export the accountant's copy, send it to your accountant to make changes. And the second part, we're going to show you how to re-import those changes and to incorporate them into your live QuickBooks data. To begin, you're going to open your accountant's copy using QuickBooks 2008, and you're going to see the notice which says an accountant's copy has been created for this file. While your accountant's working on the file, you may only work on transactions after 731.09, which was the dividing date discussed in part one of this series. This message is the message you've seen every time you've opened the QuickBooks file subsequent to sending your accountant's, your accountant's copy. You can click the Do Not Display This Message and you'll be continued to rem you'll continue to be reminded of the fact there's an accountant's copy outstanding in the header of the window but not with this display every time you open it and that's fine to do and the display continues to say that there's an accountant's copy pending and what we're going to do in this tutorial is import those changes to your live quickbooks data we'll do that by clicking file and then accountant's copy Client activities and import accountants changes. You'll notice that you cannot send another accountants copy while one is already outstanding. It only allows one version of the accountants copy to be created and sent at any given time. If that version never gets received, the accountant says they've never got it or falls through the cracks, just hit the remove restrictions button. The old data will be the old accountants copy will be void and null. You can go back to the version one of this or step one of this tutorial and recreate it and send it out but in the meantime we're going to hit import accountants changes we're going to find where those changes are we're going to see the note from our accountant it says dear valued client and close please find the changes we've made to clean up your books through july 09 it'll list the changes in this case there was only one change made there was a one journal entry made to clean up rent and then we're going to hit incorporate accountants changes if we go over some of these options here you can expand all and see all the details there the rent expense and uh, you can collapse them all you can save these changes to a PDF or print them those might be useful if you want to track what changes the accountant made while he had the file then you can hit incorporate accountants changes QuickBooks must close all windows in order to import the changes and hit OK everything will close back up the data first which we'll gladly do something you should be doing anyways on a regular basis. Browse out to our desktop, hit save. Backups are made. We're gonna wait for QuickBooks to come back. QuickBooks is telling us that it made the backup successfully. We'll hit okay. Now it'll begin the process of actually importing the changes. And these are the changes which were made. And you will hit close. QuickBooks strongly recommends you save the accounts changes. And you can uh, change the password or not. It will be your choice. And we're back to our QuickBooks. There's no longer a notification that there's an accountant's copy outstanding. You can continue to utilize QuickBooks as you have in the past. And then next month, you can go ahead and export the changes again because this is no longer grayed out but is actually a valid menu option. And you can refer to session one of this two-step tutori tutorial training if you want to refresh on how to send the accountant the copy. Thank you for watching this tutorial presented by Gerber and Company CPAs in Century City. If you have any questions or need help, 310-552-1600. 310-552-1600. Thank you.